the final week for most high school football teams. We have some good matchup schedule tonight. We find 23 ABC sports director Terry Osep at one of them at Golden Valley High School. That is as the Bulldogs gear up to play the Shafter Generals in a battle of the unbeaten. Hey, Gary. Hey, Bayan, I like the sound of that, right? It's always fun when you enter into a week of football and you have two teams that are still undefeated, and that's what we got on top tonight. As you mentioned, the Golden Valley Bulldogs will be hosting the Shafter Generals. And although Shafter has found success over these past few years, the same isn't said for Golden Valley as they have struggled over the past few seasons. But of course, when head coach James Kane took over before the last season of football that we saw in 2019, he was trying to bring a new mentality, and that dog mentality has worked for this team as they have rattled off four straight perfect games entering into this fifth week. But of course, we know that the Shafter Generals tonight will be no easy task for these Bulldogs. But this will be the first finish with a winning record since 2014 for Golden Valley. But the goal is always to finish perfect. And it won't be easy, as I mentioned, against the Generals team that has been posted, hasn't posted below 42 points throughout this short season in one single game yet. But when the going gets tough for the Bulldogs, they can rely on that rushing game that we've seen these past few weeks. And that's been led by senior back Isaiah Coronado. And the one thing this team has always had since head coach James Kane took over the last season, that is heart. And that was something when I was introduced to Coach Kane, he was talking about, and again, this feels like, as we've been joking about this whole season, it feels like years ago that that 2019 season was played. But I do want to talk to this head coach about what has been the biggest change for the Bulldogs since he's come in. So, Coach, if you want to join me here, and thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing tonight? Good. Thank you guys for having me, and thank you guys for being here tonight. Absolutely. So I, I was talking about, obviously, we know that the winning record hasn't been a part of the Bulldogs game plan for these past few seasons. And I know that that was a goal for you coming in here to bring that winning mentality. What has changed this season that you guys have been to rattle off those four straight wins? I know we were lucky enough, first of all, to have a season. And I was also lucky enough to return some kids that were part of the struggle last year and years before. Um, so year one for us wasn't about the wins and losses and on the field so much as we just needed to change the culture and the mindset and the way we went about doing business around here when it came to football. And lucky for me, when the dust settled, um, those kids that were still standing, they all came back this year. So they were able to kind of team bring that approach, that mentality, and all those things we expect our guys to have and be to play football here. They brought it back to these five weeks. So I'm proud of them, and uh, I appreciate them helping me bring this thing along. And we know it hasn't been easy, obviously, after this past year, and you've been building from the ground up. You said that, too, a few years ago. That was the goal. But what, has you, what have you instilled the most in this team that you think that they've gravi gravitated towards? Uh, I think just the no excuse mentality that things aren't always going to be easy things aren't going to go our way and they're not going to change overnight uh, people might have a perception about you or the program in general and we're not going to care about the outside thoughts and the talks uh, care, take care of business internally believe in each other and never stop fighting never give up and push yourself to be the best you can be and we can be as a program at the end of the day i'll be proud and they'll be proud of themselves and the result at the end and I know that this Golden Valley team is pretty gritty. All the wins have been pretty gritty, but I know tonight is no easy task, obviously. I mentioned the Shafter Generals. You can't talk about them without Tyson Dozier. What's the game plan tonight to try to shut them down? Uh, you know, after watching some film and, you know, being uh, familiar with the kid, as far as just watching him, you know, do his thing all year. It's a matter of just, hey, you know what, let's not be in so much awe of what he, all the things he can do great, and let's focus on the things that maybe we can defend. Uh, we're not going to be able to stop all of it, but let's go ahead and try to contain the best we can, and, you know, hey, let's uh, make him pick his poison against us instead of letting him have his way to with us all night. It's a challenge for sure, um, and our boys are up for the challenge. That's the thing I'm most pro, uh, proud of them about is you guys seen it. it's been tough weeks for us not all of it has been easy but for us to still have head up no matter the circumstances 6-0 overtimes they're still flying high and they still believe they can win every single game so they're excited for this challenge as well yeah well, i want to say thank you so much for joining me good luck tonight and uh guys there's no bulldog that doesn't like being an underdog so tonight we'll see that match up the golden valley taking on chapter generals all well, this one plus other games on tap tonight make sure to tune in for friday night live live at golden valley for 23 abc sports i'm carrie osep